Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of an Iron Penge, and it's time for some more Ostriv. And it's a slightly different version of Ostriv to previous videos. The previous ones were Alpha 1 Patch 3. This is Alpha 1 Patch 4, which has added a few little extra bits and bobs. So one thing it's added, let's just pause time for a second. One thing it's added is a warehouse building, a shiny new warehouse building. So it can store, I think it said in the update notes, for non-food type things. So whereas the granary can store food, this could store stuff like wood and clay or whatever. So in theory, you could build one, say, down here, down the sort of the far end of the settlement, if you like. And then if they wanted wood to put anything down here, they wouldn't have to go all the way down here to the woodcutty place. They could just get it from the warehouse, which makes a lot of sense. I quite like that. Another thing that they've added in, now I need to find somewhere which can do it. This place, the tannery, yes, higher options. So now, if we click on higher options, you can change the options of who you can actually put in the particular place. Now, for, again, for some reason, maybe because it's 18th century and it's trying to mimic sort of real life and stuff, in the tannery, you can't hire women. Hire women is greyed out. It is not an option. Women can't work at the tannery. But men and women can now become labourers to bring the stuff to the tannery. So, yeah, they can bring the, uh, whatever it is, the cow hides to the tannery and you can do that for all different bits so uh, like the higher options here in the farm look you can have higher men higher women and in the windmill what can you have in there now you can't have women women can't <laughs> for some reason women can't bring stuff to windmill either who knows who knows the mysterious rules uh no women can't work there either i don't really know the rules behind it like why couldn't why couldn't a woman work it work in the trading post what I, whatever, I don't know. Whatever, whatever the case, they clearly can't. Another thing that was brought to my attention last time out by a couple of commenters. So thank you very much. There were a couple of people that spotted it. Um, there was a black hat and this lady loves gaming. So thank you to you both. It was the fact that I keep ordering boy cows. I keep ordering boy cows. I've not got to hardly any girl cows. So I kind of just thought an ox was like a girl cow. So a cow, a cow, as this sees it is a girl, so that's a girl cow. An ox and a bull are boy cows. So there I've got two, I've got two actual cows and another couple. So I've got a baby girl cow and then a fairly young girl cow. And that's it, but all the rest are men. So I need to kind of make sure that I'm not uh, keep, you know, keep buying boy cows. If I want to have a sustained population of cows sort of managing itself and having growth, I need to actually make sure that I build, uh, build. I trade with, um, uh, the other villages and settlements and stuff for cows, not oxen or bulls. Now it is a bit confusing because it's called a cow shed. It should really be called a cattle shed, possibly. I don't really know, but a cattle shed would make sense. And cows are girls. Oxes are boy cows that I believe have uh, been that have been castrated. This is jolly, isn't it? Hey, it's a, every day's a, every day's a school day. And bulls are indeed. Uh, ones I've not been castrated and that can obviously you know work alongside the the girl cows to make baby cows which is splendid so that's good news so I need to go and sort that out right now they are building well they're supposed to be building another pasture thingy cow shed just here so I'll build another cow shed we'll build another pasture thing in front of it we'll go and get some more cows we'll buy some more cows however I have also hang on let's pause it again I have also just noticed that this has been updated now I don't know if this has been updated because of the patch, or I don't know if that's been updated because we built a town hall. Now I'm not entirely sure. Oh, does that mean he's packed up his stuff down here? He has, he's packed the stuff up down here. Splendid news, okay, that's good news. So he's moved, the mayor did have a little sort of a shack type tent thing, but now he's got a big house to move into, he can move down here. Oh, that's good news, that's splendid, okay, fine. And this up here now gives you a breakdown of all the, you know, sort of total resources, so the wheat harvest, the potato harvest, all the different harvests, that's good the number of potatoes and water and wood and thatch and all that kind of stuff, which is good. Um, it also at the top says treasury, 18.6. Now, for the previous few parts, I've been wondering when you go to the other places, when you go here, say, and it says, yep, there you go, offers hemp and wheat, demands sunflower oil and sunflower. I've been wondering what that is. So you can go, yeah, all right, you want sunflower oil. I'll sell you some sunflower oil. I'll sell you, I don't know, whatever. 20, 20 units, or 10, two units for 20, bleh, 20 watt. I don't know what it is, but it must be this fictional now treasury value that's in here, which is quite intriguing. Now, I didn't know. I always thought that was just some summary of all the resources we had added together for some reason. I didn't really consider it to be 
a kind of monetary thing. I don't really know. Like the, the picture, that little icon isn't very clear. That looks like people. That looks like a group of people. That's fine. Um, that yeah, looks kind of like an amorphous kind of blob shape. So there we go. So now we know that that is money. Now have I got, I've got, a, I've got four sunflower oil. Could I sell two of the sunflower oil deal? So sell two of those sunflower oils. Let's speed time on because we, we haven't got a lot of money and we need some money in order to go through and actually buy more cows, which we want to do eventually when the next sort of cow shed and pasture thing is built. Now, there is a message here with the family being out of food. I think that will sort itself out once the um, fields have been, you know, all the sort of crops and stuff from the fields have been put back into the granary. So I think once it's full of potatoes, and once it's full of lovely things and there's fish and there's all sorts of other lovely things, I think that'll be absolutely fine. I think that'll be splendid. Uh, something was built. I don't know what it was. I wasn't looking. Right, this family is out of food. They've got Anna. There you go. They're awaiting. <laughs> they're awaiting 0.1 of a potato. Mm, oh, there you go. And and some sunflower oil and some more potato. Oh, that's fine. Right. So, yes. And now once all the stuff's come in, once all these things have come in, it's going to be fine. I think we'll be okay with all this kind of stuff. So uh, what was that? That was wheat. That was wheat. Yep. So I'll turn that into flour. So this place will be very, very busy. In fact, you know what? Let's have another worker. Right. Can we? Oh, no. We can't, <laughs> this place can't hire women. Let's hire another worker for the windmill and get stuff done twice as quick because we're going to have quite a lot of wheat. What was in that field? Potatoes. Beautiful. Did you use your plow? Did you use the plow? Plow available. Uh, do I need to tell you to use the plow? Because it didn't look plowing wasn't. Oh, hang on. It's gone now. The thing's gone. There, look. Plowing wasn't a thing. Maybe I missed it. Ah, maybe I've missed it because I only recently built the plows, didn't I? So this place is being built up here. This is splendid. Now, one of the things was there's no housing and there's no jobs. Oh, that, that's gone now. So there's plenty of food available now. So now I think what we're going to do is let's build ourselves maybe up here. Let's try and build a little bit along here, like a little close, like a crescent almost. So we'll have it facing that way next to the clay pit, which is lovely. What a nice place to live. So we'll try and twist it round a bit like, oh no, I can't quite get it to work. I want it to back onto those a bit like that. There, that'll do. That'll do. So right, so build a house and then I want to build another house next to that house a bit like that. And then I want a third house. Just, ooh, it's gone a bit weird. <laughs> Yep, that house has got a really weird garden, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, do you know what? You can be the house with the weird garden. That can be what you are known as. House with weird garden. That can be you. And then, just here, I am going to build ourselves. Uh, just because I want to see what one looks like and how it works. A warehouse. Oh, they're fairly small. I thought they'd be really gargantuan things. Oh, no, that's quite cool. They're, they're actually not massive. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Right, that's the front of the warehouse. So let's have that... There's going to be a sort of street type thing there. Uh, where do we want to put this then? I, I was thinking this was going to be massive, but maybe it's not so huge. Let's put it in here. No, no one can get around there. Should we put it at the end of this row? Or next to the... Ah, we could put it next to the trading post. That'd be quite good. Let's drop it there. I quite like that idea that there's now a little, uh, little sort of warehouse down here. We can load that up. Now it's coming to winter. Now, can I change these? One thing I do want to do, in here, again, it was pointed out, use a fallow field if available. Now, which of these fields are going to be obliterated? That field is going to have no nutrients in. 1, 40, and 70. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's a, that, that field is a... Oh, that's got nothing in it. Now, do I now change these? Right, I can change these now. Okay, so it's got to October. All the stuff is out of the fields. I can now swap these rounds. So now, wheat... Uh, they've not got anything in... And that's not so bad, actually. 50, 40, and 100. So what could I grow from that? Uh, oh, not very good wheat there. I could grow potatoes. Yes, grow some potatoes in that field, please. Sunflowers, you've got a lot of... It's a 1, <laughs> one 40, and 70. Okay, I'm going to have to leave that fallow. And the potato field has actually got quite a lot of stuff in. So let's have sunflowers in there. And we'll grow sunflower... Now, can I do sunflowers? A hundred... Oh, no. Maybe not a hundred. I haven't got a hundred there, have I? A hundred, sixty, and thirty. Okay, grow some wheat. Sixty, seventy, a hundred. Sixty, seventy. Oh, no, it's only got sixty of the green. It won't grow very good wheat either. Potatoes again. <laughs> More potatoes. Uh, okay, so that's fine. So two fallow fields. 
Uh, now this, this is going to be a bit of a challenge as well, isn't it? Because we can have more fallow fields, which is probably never a good thing. Also, my treasury is on 1.56. Oh no, did I buy some stuff rather than sell? Oh no. Did I just buy a load of stuff that we've already got? Oh, I, oh, oh. Or, or they've just spent loads of money on stuff. I don't know, but I thought I'd, maybe I've pressed the wrong button. Oh, that, that wouldn't surprise me in any way, because I am an idiot. But I possibly should have paid more attention to that. Uh, okay, right. Potatoes, 44, 58, and 100. Okay, uh, 44 and 58. Yes, yeah, so we can grow potatoes in that field again. That one's got 37, 68, 19. 37, 68, 37, no, 37, 68. Not quite for wheat, so that'll have to be fallow. That one, what are they? 25, 11 and 100. 23, 8 and 100. What does hemp need? 10, naught and 69. So we could do two lots of hemp. So in order to get something out of those fields and then sell the hemp for funny, uh, for funny, <laughs> for funny money, for money when we do some trading. That might be a plan. Okay, that's good. So we can do that. The farms are sorted. I'm beginning to expect with our sort of population increase, we need to actually have another farm. That might be the best thing we do. Right, now we seem to have no money at all. So our treasury has gone into minus money. I don't know what gives us money in the treasury. Like, I don't know how that goes up. But it just went up there, look, a little bit. It went from minus three to minus one, or if it was. And now it's plummeting down again. Now, I don't know what we're spending money on. I don't really understand. Now, there's a thing in here. So the town hall was finished last time. So let's pause time a second. Population. Oh, 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 it's a graph. Oh, I do like a graph. Okay, age is uh, eight. What's this showing? The number of people at that age. Right, okay. So eight people uh, are presumably between that age. Oh, so we've got quite a lot of young people. Oh, look, there's a lot of youngsters in. A lot of young people. So hopefully in however many years. Oh, goodness, I'm going to play this game forever. Um, it They will have enough, you know, if I can keep them alive... They'll come through of age and we'll have a, a, a new population. Okay. Right. I've got four cows, it says. Oh, yes, I did have four, didn't I? Because I had two, um, two little cows. Okay. And the economy. So let's have a look at this. So income. 62519. Housing rent. Local sales. Yep. Salary. So I pay a salary... For people that work basic monthly wage. Oh, okay. There's wages, village house rent. So if I upped that, that might sort out the money problems. If I put that to 0.35, a tiny little increase to live in this lovely place. It's very lovely. It's very nice. Um, and then the basic monthly wage. What does that go up by? Okay, so 2.5 to 2.6. So if I increase their wage, but also increase their house rent, Again, another cheeky 0.5% on it, but uh, 0.05%. Let's see if I can do that. So, yeah, okay. So, I didn't know I got kind of housing rent. Is that strictly stated when you click on a house? Does it say that they pay rent? No, it doesn't say they pay any rent. So, I don't know how much I get from... Does that tell me how much I get from a house? Just village house rent, 0 0.40 of what? Okay, that's intriguing. So, and then I've got money on messengers, salaries, and importing stuff. So my local sales don't actually pay for the salaries. Okay, so maybe I need some more market stall things in here. So where were they? Market stall. Let's pop a few more of these in, because these are probably key. I hadn't quite realised how important these were. So let's, let's have, let's shift click it as well. So one there, one there. One there, and one there. And let's put a couple more in as well. Yes, more market stores. Beautiful. Okay, right. We want people to work in at least three of them. So like that. Hire options. Just hire anybody. Just hire someone who will come in, please. Oh, yeah, there's already people in there. So you can sell flour and, I don't know, beef or something. You can sell... Oh, we haven't got dry. How do we dry the fish? How do we have dried fish? Like, if I put dried fish on the thing, do people take him dried fish or just fish? Uh, and you can sell potatoes and milk. Okay, so you've got a variety of things to sell. Now, my treasury is absolutely 
falling rapidly. I mean, that's a bit weird. Right, he's got all the thatch he can have. So let's get him out. Where are the cows? So now let's go over here. Let's get rid of a couple of ox then. Because I don't need those. And that makes sense, look. So the cow is a girl, a girl symbol, gender symbol. The bull is a boy symbol and the ox is just a circle. So uh, let's slaughter an ox and let's slaughter another ox. Yeah, let's do another one as well. Let's get a couple. In fact, you know what? Let's do three. There we go. I've gone mad. I've gone mad, everybody. I'm slaughtering all of our cattle, but it gives us meat, lovely meat. And we're going to need that because soon, when it gets all snowy, we can't actually do fishing. We can't actually fish. So, yeah, we're going to have to make up for it in another way. And that also gives the people at the tannery something to do because they can actually go and do some work there because I'll actually have something to work on, which is rather splendid. Okay, so the carpenter place isn't doing anything. The slaughterhouse has beef. Okay, have they nearly finished building this thing? Oh, a messenger from Derhachi. Demands wheat and shoes. Uh, shoes could be an interesting thing. I do need to get that sort of industry side of things built. They are offering salt, lime and dried fish. However, I have no money. I can't buy anything. So price per unit is 10. The sum is 20. To buy two units of dried fish would be 20. But I don't have... I've got my <laughs> nearly minus 20. Did that just work? Okay, that's a that's a surprise, I'll be honest, but okay, that's fine. We'll go with it. We'll see if that's how it works. Have I got a lot of wheat? Have I got a lot of wheat that I could give them? 5.12 of wheat. Okay, now let's have a look. Dahachi uh, demands wheat. Could I sell them some wheat? Two lots of wheat. Yes. Okay, deal. Do that then. So now that appears to have had an adverse effect. <laughs> My treasury is absolutely falling dramatically. Family is out of money. Okay. Well, you're both working. You both work. I don't understand how you can be out of money. How do you get? Just just get more money. Get more money. Okay, fine. That That's good. Another house coming in. They'll pay me some money. Hurrah. I might be able to become solvent by the end of all this. Right. And the cow shed is nearly finished finished how are they doing on the cow shed they're just doing the work and then they need the thatch at the end of it yep so the work phase is done the thatch is in so they're just going to pop those roofs in little roof sections i do quite like the way they do that i wonder if that's how it really works so they're going to pop those in yep anytime come on folks come on there we go yay right okay so now we need to make ourselves a uh, pasture which was probably going to sit like uh, that place is occupied. Oh, yes, of course, because it, it has to be in a certain distance away, doesn't it? So like that. So I can have a maximum output of 15. Uh, yeah, do you know what? That'll do. Yes. And then I think it says I can drag. Ah, no, they've gone over here, have they? Have the cows gone to the a fallow, a fallow field? So I did tell them to use a fallow field. Or have they just gone inside? Oh, they've just gone inside. Okay, so now in there, drag and drop on another cow shed. So if I drag and drop that one to there, is that is it, did that work? Or do I need to literally drag and drop the cow? As in the, the physical cow that's just here. Maybe I need to do that. Okay, fine. Okay, that, that's that's something I can do later when they've come back out because it's a bit cold now. We don't want to make them too cold. Uh, okay, well look, here's a person. Here's some people that have moved straight in. Good job. Good job, dudes. Right, okay, that's bringing some more money. I am absolutely broke. <laughs> I'm so broke. I've got no money at all. I don't really know how to make the money. Right, okay, the river freezes. The fishing people can't do any more fishing. So we can get these houses built. That's absolutely fine. The main thing at the moment is no housing available. So if they get the housing sorted, and then what I might do is... Uh, what else do we need? Let's have a look what else we can build that we don't now have. So we've got a tailor's workshop, we've got a weaver's workshop, and we've got a shoemaker's workshop. Produces shoes from leather. Now we did have somebody earlier saying they wanted leather, didn't we? They were saying about leather. So why don't we build one of those? Let's build one of those there. Kind of like... Oh no, let's build that down in our little industrial sort of hub, if you like. Can we build him there? Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Well, that's stalled. Can't find wood anywhere. Dudes, 
Seriously, what do you guys do? You've got no, ah, ah, maybe I took the workers out. <laughs> oh no, maybe I took them out because I thought that, you know, I thought, ah, we've got plenty of wood. We don't need this. But no, they, they actually do need some wood. Okay, so they're getting some wood sorted. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more wood. In fact, why don't we get a third worker as well? Come on, get more people in. Get more people in. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yes, and then we need to build this. The shoemaker's workshop then might be able to help us in getting some money because lots of people are saying we would like shoes so maybe if i get a lot of shoes fashioned i could sell them and see how much money i can make them for there is also the things here there's the tailor's workshop and then the weaver's workshop so i'd need the weaver workshop to produce textile and the tailor's workshop to produce clothes now i may do that as well do you know what why the heck not let's build a weaver's workshop Let's build these round the back of here. I quite like the idea of this, having a little sort of industrial kind of hub area. So we'll have a weaver just there, uh, or whatever you were. Yeah, weaver to turn the hemp into actual textiles like that. And then the tailor can sit pretty much next door. There, that'll do. So now they'll be neighbours, and everybody needs good neighbours. So let's have a look on... No, not that, I meant that. Um... Don't want to. Why is it scrolling? Stop scrolling. Desist thy scrollings. Uh, family's out of money. Yeah, okay, that's fine. As long as they're not out of food. <laughs> because that would be even worse. No, they've got plenty of food. They've got beef and sunflower. You, you glug that sunflower oil down. Oh, lovely sunflower oil. Splendid. And flour and potatoes and water and all that kind of jazz. That's excellent. Um, Export stock. Now, I haven't really used the trading post much. Maybe I'm supposed to use this a bit. So if I am able to have... I wonder if I could have like sun, two farms that purely work in sunflowers. That'd be good. That firewood. Can I export firewood? Two. I don't know what that is. But let's see if we can do firewood. Okay, I think this went bling. Oh, is that house finished? Ah, and there's some people already moved in. This is encouraging. This is good. So they're awaiting sunflower oil to be delivered. Okay, that's good. So we should see them coming in across the wilderness. There they are. Yeah, don't go around the trees. Go through the trees. Take the difficult route through the trees. It's a challenge. I like it. I like you guys. Okay, in they go. Okay, splendid. So one of you is a labourer. One of you is unemployed. But hopefully soon, when we have these extra buildings built, we'll all be cool. Okay, so we need to go to one of these places. Now, which one had cows? I can't remember which one had cows. Which one had cows? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Wasn't it Derhachi? Or was it Balaklaklia? I can't remember. I can't remember which one had cows. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let first things first. Let's just make sure that these things get built. So at the minute, nothing much happening. Are they still working on the house? I think they're all working down here. All the four labourers are working all down here, which is fine. They're doing things in order. I get that. That's fine. Not got much of that finished. Nails. Where's Mr. Nails, man? Uh, we've only got 50 nails left. Right, we need someone in there. We need a worker in there. We need some nails built, people. We need to get some nails sorted. We're going to have a very, very short tenure there. Right, okay, get rid of that. Slaughterhouse, don't need you at the moment. There you go, come out of there. Maybe you could go make some nails. Now you're not slaughterhousing. That'd be splendid. There's a good idea for you. Uh, right, we don't need you. We don't need the two fishy people. Definitely don't need the boatyard. Another thing I might do is build another fishing thing down there to get lots of fish in. That might be a good idea. Now, how do I get dried fish? I don't know. Can you hire women for that? No, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how you get dried fish. Just put, leave them out. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Just leave the fish out in the sun. Who flipping knows? Okay, so there's pl there's quite a lot to do. There's plenty that I want to get done. I just need these guys to actually get on with finishing everything. Right, okay, I think it's going to be finished. Right, and a house and people have just moved in instantly. So now there's still demand out there. So now still no housing available. People, people want to come here, but there's still not enough housing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here, I think we build another farm. Just, or do we build it there and keep it consistent with the other ones? Or do we build it more in here? I'm tempted to build the new farm in there nope that's that's the water button let's press the right button this time there we go so uh yeah it goes out onto the thing it was pretty much the right way round you silly man bit like 
that. So say there, so it's got a little street running down that way. If I can get it into place, just right, no, 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 it's sort of not quite going where I want it to. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, right, pause. There's a visitor, a, a trading person from Marifa is visiting now, it said. They're offering hemp and wheat. They're demanding sunflower oil and sunflowers. Okay, have we got lots of sunflower oil and sunflowers? We give them one sunflower oil, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> but we might want to keep some for ourselves as well. Uh, let demand sunflower oil. Have one. It's a deal. That's a t fairly terrible deal, but it's all I can do right now. Okay, let's just, oh, whatever. Let's just plonk that. I can't quite get it how, exactly how I want it to be. It's not kind of going straight. That The road isn't, it's going, moving between two points and I want it to be in between those two points. Do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, let's put it there. That'll do. That's fine. So build a farm and they can have fields over here. And yeah, maybe we'll do mostly sunflower fields. That might be a good idea. Okay, right. What's everyone doing now then? What's everyone doing? He's making nails. That's uh, absolutely... No, no, that's a shoemaker workshop. Him. Uh, he's getting some nails made. That's fine. The shoemaker's workshop is actually coming along pretty well. They've got a lot of stuff in there. All the wood's in there. They're getting the clay in place. So they're going to start doing the clay stuff. Yeah, this is good. This is very encouraging. They've got all the clay in. Yes. Oh, no, they need loads of it. Look, they need loads of clay. And the snow begins to melt, which means our fishing people can get back on the case. Let's get one out. Let's just get one person. Can't fish in winter. Yeah, it's not winter anymore as of any time. Now, there we go. Splendid. Okay, that's good. That's good news. Oh, they're on that straight away. They're on the farm straight away. All these other things that I've asked for. No, no, can't build those. Farm, like, yes, I'm on it. <gasps> and look, the cows have gone to the field. And that is that them ploughing it? Is that them ploughing the fields? Yes, look at that. Okay, maybe I could get them a couple more ploughs. Now, I don't know what that does. I assume that just helps the nutrients go up. Yes, it does. Look, it makes the nutrients a bit better. Oh, that's quite encouraging. Okay, that's cool. You've got a field to plough. Plough plow all of the fields. Why have you stopped? Get ploughing. Oh, that's fallow. Oh, okay, they don't need to plough the fallow fields. Uh, what's wrong with the potato field? Why aren't you ploughing the potato field? Oh, you are. Good job. Good job, people. Okay, yes, yeah, so it adds the nutrients. I quite like that. It's going to take a... Hang on a minute. Apparently they're halfway through. Oh, no, that is right. I thought the uh, bar was going up far quicker than it was going up for the actual graphic here of the dudes doing the actual ploughing. There we go. Splendid. Okay, that's very cool. Then I like that. I like the fact that the ploughs actually do stuff and it changes the, the visuals. Okay, that's good. So we've got a fallow field. One, two, three fallow fields. But that one, the nutrients are going to be topped right up because it's got the cows in it. Splendid. Uh, the shoemaker place, not quite done. Needs a couple more clay bits. I think the wood is sufficient in there. And the nails, we're literally waiting on three clay. we just got to sit and wait. Yay. Okay, fine. Is it worth getting rid of another one of those oxen for now? Let's get rid of you to get some meat. Splendid. And then, yeah, we're going to go and buy some more. Now, I don't know how it works. I've got no money, yet I seem to be able to buy things still. Do I go bankrupt? Like, do I fail? I've genuinely got no idea. Right, good. They're doing some stuff. Yes. Do this. We've got loads of leather and we've got nothing to do with all this leather. So come on, construction in progress. Yes. Okay, so we've got a shoemaker. So let's get you in. So you're okay, you're a you're a lady. You're a lady shoemaker. That's cool. Good job. Shoes. So you can produce five shoes. So the leather goes in. So she's got some leather. And now she can make shoes? How does this work? How is this going to actually function? She's just awaiting lots of leather. How much leather do you need to make a pair of shoes? Awaiting shoes one. Stored shoes one. Shoes one. Leather. Okay, it's a bit confusing. So the shoes sort of just appeared. She didn't actually craft them as such. They just sort of appeared. Okay. That's cool. So now she stored shoes. She stored not put one leather. Oh, she's taking a rest. That's why nothing's happening. Okay, she's having a little lie down. Okie doke. That's cool. Have a lie down. That's fine. In here, 
uh, I have decided we're going to have another forestry place. We're going to stick that in down here, look. And then they can put stuff in their warehouse kind of area. Let's put it uh, there, shall we? So it's round, it's out the way, it's round the corner, it's next to the trees, which is good. Let's just turn it round. Does that look, does that look the part? I kind of want it set off the road a bit at the back. There. Like that. And then they can look after those trees. A family is out of money. I don't know how to give you money. Mother um, oh, Zareslia is unemployed. That's probably not a good thing, is it? Uh, how about someone to work in there? And oh, there they go. Was that did, did I give her a job? Did I just give her an actual job? Just there, <laughs> go me. Right, you can sell some the dried fish. You can sell some flour, and you can sell uh, chickens. There's chicken eggs and chicken meat. How do you get chickens? I don't know. And uh, shoes. Why not? You can sell some shoes to people because now we do have shoes. Look, she's making shoes. She stored 1.9 shoes. <laughs> What's that? It's just not got the laces on or something. Why is that 0.9 of a shoe? What's going on there? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, right. So lots of stuff going on. I'm still losing money hand over fist. Right, a visitor is coming in from Marifa. Okay, no, none of that. Right, ah, it was the farm that was done. Okay, now let's get ourselves a carpenter. Let's order ourselves a plow. And then let's do fields. So let's try and get roughly the same kind of thing that those fields have got-ish. I know it's not quite the same. Oh, if I built it ever so slightly wrong, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Right, so let's have a bigger field going down. Oh, it's really wonky, that farm. <laughs> That's No, no, I can't have that. That'll set off all my OCD bells and whistles. Let's have that like that. And oh, it says it's occupied. Okay, there to there. And then that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Like, place is occupied. Oh, no, I need to turn the door around. There we go. Let's have it there on that side as well. So there. And then another field next to this one. Going out like that. And we'll turn the door around again. But do it right. So like that. Splendid. A third field we want, say, there to there and going quite a long way. No, that, that's that's not straight like that to there and there. That'll do. Max up at 19. That's a good field. That's a big field. And then another field going from there to there. and Oh, no, from there to snap to the edge and to there. And let's put it in the middle. And yeah, the other gate for that field is just there. Can I turn the gate round? Oh, no. Let's do my... Oh, no, now I've pressed demolish and the fields... Oh, dear. Field, demolish. Don't... Uh, can you undemolish the... Oh, no, fine. Fine, fine, fine. It's done it. It's done it. It's okay. We need to demolish this one as well, I think, because it's all gone a bit weird. That's fine. Pause. Uh, okay, field. Right. Let's do that again, but not make it rubbish. Okay, like... That. In fact, we could have a massive field. Let's just have a gargantuan field. Maximum output, 27. Let's turn it round to the gates in the middle. That's quite cool, isn't it? That'll be a big field. Okay, and there to there, and out like that, and the gate in there. Right, okay, okay. That's a good farm. That's a good, important thing. Three workers on it. Uh, plow is ordered. Okay, so they're all nice fields. They're all good. Okay, so this field. Do you know what we're going to do? Let's get ourselves... I don't know which field is... Would that be field three? So fields one and two can be food. So we'll have a wheat field uh, and a potato field. And then that can be sunflowers and that can be hemp. There we go. So we've got some nice big fields going on. Now, can they get all that done? Three people have got jobs now, which is good. That's encouraging. Can we have another person? Like, because it's the ladies getting the jobs. Yes, they've, they've both, all the other farms have got four. This is good. Now, a manager. Do we want farm managers? What happens if you put a farm manager in? Farm manager. And a farm manager? Okay, there's a plus next to it. What does that do? What does that do? Fallow. Oh, you can tell it what to do. You can plan like a cycle of it. Oh, that's a bit clever. Okay, right. I might have to come to that at some point later on. But okie doke, that's cool. Right, have we got anyone in there yet? He's waiting for some animals. They're only just here. They're in the next field along. 
Hello. Go and grab them from here. There should be oxen enough, shouldn't there? There's certainly, certainly, oh no, there's not enough of them. Okay, we've got some cows. Right, hang on. They're in the fallow thing. I need. I want to move them over to here. I want to spread the um, the, the fields around. Or do I just, it says drag them. I don't really understand. Drag and drop on another cow shed to relocate. So that cow, click and drag on the cow shed. I literally like that. Right, and then a bull of two years, like that. Okay, so they're going to go into that cow shed. No livestock. And they've vanished out of there. Um, where's my cows gone? <laughs> Where have they gone? Where are you two? Oh, you're woodcutting. That's fine. Okay, I have a terrible feeling that, that might have gone a bit wrong. But never mind. Never mind. That's fine. We'll just go and buy some more cows and put them in there. That'll be cool also. Okay, now is the what can we do with this warehouse? Let's take a look at the warehouse. So we've got what do we want to store? Well, wood would be a good thing to store in there. Now I don't know how much, but three. I don't I don't really know what that means. Uh, ten. Ten capacity, yeah, okay. Uh, some nails. Let's put in I don't know. 50 nails? Is that how this works? I don't really know how this works. 40 nails, say. Uh, what else is up to this end of the thing? Uh, some shoes. A cow died of starvation. That's probably a bad thing, isn't it? I I think that's probably a really, really bad thing. Okay. And a cow. And did it mean a cow cow? Two cows died of starvation. Have they, have they not got any food in this place? Where are the people looking after them? Do Get them out of there. Don't don't lead them in a fallow field because you clearly don't look after them enough. They're all dying. Or was it those two that went into there? Oh, because there's no work. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so incompetent at running 18th century towns. Who would have thought? Right, have two workers in there. And uh, do you know what? Yeah, so let's put that back on. Use fallow food if available. I'm so stupid. Right, let's... Oh, let's go. I think it was those guys. Send a messenger. 80 cost. Not enough money. I need them to come to me. Can you please give us some cows? Please give us cows. Yeah, I haven't got enough money to speak to these places anymore. Oh, no. This is bad. This is a terrible thing. Okay, I've lost some cows. Right, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's fill in these two. We'll have a worker there. That means you're, you're earning money. You can sell shoes. That's good. You can sell milk. That's good. You've got those things to sell. Right. How are these places doing? Which one's that? The weaver needs textile. Ah, oh, but the tailor needs to be there first to take the hemp and turn it into textiles. Okay, that's not ideal. Now, there's no one. Are these fields sown? Oh, I need Oh, I need to make them active. <laughs> the man... I've employed a manager. Surely your job is to manage the flipping farm and make the fields active, for goodness sake. Stupid, stupid people. Um, Okay, that farm is completely out of money. Mother Elena is out, is unemployed. Um, I, I'm really trying to find places where you can work, but for some reason you're not allowed to like work in the oil workshop because that's frowned upon. Again, you're not allowed to work there either. Where can you work? Where can the ladies work? Can you work in the thatchery? No, because clearly you're not allowed to thatch anything because that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, higher options. Are you allowed to work there? Okay, so you're allowed to work in the thing. So that's fine. In the in the cow shed. Uh, can you work in any of these? You can work in the shoe place. The weaver's workshop. Uh, only hire women. Yes. Only hire women to work in the weaver's workshop. Now, is there a thing which is about unemployed? Open vacancies, looking for a job. Zero women and men are looking for a job. Yet, yeah, there are a lot of unemployed people. Don't understand. I don't really understand how it works. So, yeah, like there. Oh, not there. There. Mother Elena is unemployed. Uh, everyone else seems to be quite gainfully employed. There's a lot of employed people, which is very encouraging. I'm happy that they're all employed. Right, a visitor from Marefa. Demanding, they're offering hemp and wheat. They're demanding sunflower and sunflower oil. How much sunflower and sunflower oil do we have? No, we have not enough to trade with you, Marefa. Can you please ask for something that we've got? That will make things a lot easier. Like shoes. We could trade shoes with you if you so wish. That would be splendid. We've got 
I don't know. I don't know how many shoes we've got. Oh, there they go. A woman could work at the warehouse as well. There we go. Vanna Smolly. She's there. Where's mother? Where's Elena? Well, she's a laborer now. Okay, so everybody has jobs. The money is inconsistent. Okay. Okay. We need people to come here and finish this tailor's workshop. Then we've got clothes. And clothes are going to be a good thing. Okay, so I think... I think we're going to call it a day for now. I suspect I may have... I mean, that thing was a total mess up on my behalf. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I've completely messed up the whole cows thing. That was very stupid. Should have possibly realised what was going on. But we do have some other cows. Look, a cow of one year. Let's move into... Hang on, hang on. First things first. Has it got hay and water in it? No, it's not even stocked. Labour, literally anything. Just put some stuff in it. Put some water in it. Otherwise, the cows will be dead. And that's not a good thing. So why are they not putting... Look, the workers keep changing as well, look. So, yeah, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. <laughs> Just put someone in there. Yeah, and I see they haven't got any... Um, there's no resources in there. There's nothing in there. Like that one, hay and water. Yes, makes sense. That, nothing. Uh, he's taking a rest, though. He's going to work. Maybe now he will actually get on with putting some hay and some water in there. Uh, let's see. Let's click to select him. Uh, oh, no. I must have clicked off him again. You. There. Uh, follow. Let's follow him. So there he is. Walking up. It's a bit shaky, by the way. It's a bit juddery. It's not just... Uh, he's got, he went down the road and he's gone back home again. Okay. <laughs> he thought, oh, no. I've left the gas on. Oh, man. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so he's gone to get some water. He's carrying one water. Where is he carrying the one water to? He's carrying it to his house. Can you go and look after the cows, please? Because that's your sort of job. Yeah, this way. And down there into the wood place. To do what? I'm very confused. Hang on, didn't you work in there a second ago? Oh, this is very confusing. Right, you guys need to put some, some resources in there. Or else I'm going to put cows in there and they're going to be dead. Can you please put some resources in? Uh, okay, have I not done something correctly? If I just not... Is it because there's no cows in there? They're not putting anything... <gasps> A visitor from... Offers cows. I can't afford it. <laughs> they're demanding potatoes. Have I got any potatoes? Uh... No, I've got nothing in the granary at all. Oh, I want I want that. <laughs> this is a tragedy. Right, pause. A visitor from wherever it was. Cows. Okay. So what were they saying? Right, so the top one, here we go. So the top value is a cow. Now in my in my when I looked at this before, yeah, I see what I've done now. I've gone, all right, I want two girl cows and you know, whatever, one boy cow. But no, the bottom two are boy cows. A bull, a, a boy cows, and the top one's a girl cow. So ideally, I'd want... I don't really need any boy cows, do I? Let's say if I said I wanted 10 girl cows, deal. Okay, now that works. That works. <laughs> Am I going to get myself 10 girl cows? Is that going to work? Because I haven't got any money. So I don't know where they're going to come from. Do the 10 girl cows just appear? The guy herded them in before, didn't he? He actually physically herded them in across the landscape. Hello, cow man. Dinner, 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 dinner. Literally with the, some of the cows. Uh, are you going to come this way? Or do, uh, does it say not enough money? No, there. There are the cows. And that's not 10 of them, I don't think. But there are cows. Yes. Okay. This is encouraging. So I might have some cows to put back in here. Okay. So when they're in there... What we'll do is, now I don't know which granary, a uh, granary, I'm not going to put them in the granny, that would be stupid, which cow shed they're going to go into. I'm imagining this one, but whichever one, I'm not really bothered. Yeah, so they've gone straight into this one, that's splendid news. Right, you people who work here, you need to get some resources right now, or all these cows are going to be dead. So you need to get some hay, you need to get some water as priority number one. Because there's no, there's, hello... Awaiting milk. You need to give them some food and water or the cows are going to die. Kind of now. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> How am I supposed to make them go and do that? They've got all the things, look. They're told to do it. Why are you not doing it? What have I done different? 
What have I done different? Okay, right. In order to keep at least some of them alive, let's just drag and drop those some of them onto there. Because otherwise they are just going to die, aren't they? They're gonna, we're going to have a load of dead cows on our hands. So let's put all those cows over into that one. And another cow as well. Maybe even another cow. And from this one, let's just drag I don't know, that bull over to there. Right. Speed time on. See how that works. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that they're not going to restock. I wonder if I've glitched. I wonder if it's glitched somehow and it can't cope with the fact that there are so many cows. But they're not moving. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm really confused. I don't get it. And they're moving the cows around. There you go. So those cows have come in. Okay, because they're over here, aren't they? They're in this field. But they're not giving them any water. Um... Yeah, I think that's gone wrong. I think there is a glitch going on there. Unless he's going to put something in. Yeah, so there you go. They're moving them around. That's fine. Moving them around is good. But they're going to need something to eat or they're all going to be dead. They're going to be dead cows. Uh, not the good type. Not the good type that we can go and then eat. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think that's working properly. I don't think that's working properly at all. They're very insistent on getting the hay and stuff for this one, but not that one. So I think there's a glitch there. Now, can I put the rest of those cows in there? Current 13. How many are in there? 14, 18. Right, okay. Yep. Yeah, I can drag the rest of the cows into there. Because that one, that cow shed, for whatever reason, does have food. Hooray! Imagine that. Oh, imagine if there was food for the cows to have. But no, that one does not. And I think that might be a bug or a glitch or something. But I'm not prepared to let my cows all die because of that. Okay, so it's going to be winterous time soon. So let's go through... Have we got any oxen? No, we've got loads of cows though. So that's beautiful. So we'll leave that for a bit. Okay, it, it's looking okay. I'm a bit annoyed that I set this farm up wrong. Again, like an idiot, I did it before and it was wrong. But never mind, we should get used to that. We should get used to my idiocy. Um, we've got absolutely no money. So that's probably not a good thing. Have we got any workers for the wood over here? Yep, so we can put some workers in the forestry. A visitor from Morayford. Yeah, okay, sunflower oil and sunflower. Yes, yes, very good. Right, the thing is, this hasn't even built yet. There's no labourers. So now I haven't got any labourers. I need some people to come and do this. When it, that freezes over, the fisher guys won't be able to do any, or he won't be able to do any work. So I'll be able to get him back over and possibly get him as a labourer and get him building the tailor's workshop. I think clothes are going to be an important thing to sell as well. Uh, have we got enough thatch? We haven't got any thatch. Let's get a worker in on the thatch thing. Oh my goodness me. It's all very involved in an 18th century town. It's almost like I've never done it before. And I wasn't there the first time round. Okay. So next time out, I don't know. I don't know what to try. I think we need to try and sort out our money woes. So this will be our priority. A tailor's workshop. Get that done. Are you cranking the shoes out? Yes, you are. You're making many shoes. Are there any shoes in that warehouse? Yes. There's a lot of wood. There's some nails. Let's add more to the wood. Let's have, uh, I don't know, 40 wood stored in that warehouse. Just down one. There we go. 40 wood stored. 85 families. No housing available. So the next thing we need to do is get some houses. So maybe next time out we set ourselves a goal of getting 100 people. I think that sounds like a good thing. Let's get 100 people in our little settlement. I think that would be a good thing. We can call that a nice goal to aim for. If you have enjoyed this video, even in spite of my terrible, terrible mistakes that I've made in running this place, then please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe too to keep up to date with what we're doing. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks, spanners, a brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.